Hi, my name is Clayton Adams, and today we're going to go over understanding supply and demand. So, obviously, I wanted to talk about this political cartoon right here, and I just want to get your guys' thoughts on, like, obviously, when you read political cartoons, the cartoonist is always going to try to make an argument. So, can you guys tell me, like, what is the argument here? Is that um, the massive demand? Right, like Ben? Yeah, it's basically going to say the same thing that the supply can't keep up with. Right. Well, this, this was put out in, uh, I think, around 06. So, obviously, that time in America, we had a lot of people were driving around in huge SUVs that were at, you know, terrible gas mileage. And they took up a lot of gas. So, you know, and gas is something we have a limited supply of. So, I feel like. Today, you know, gas prices have come down. I remember back in 08, they were up to almost $5. So basically all this cartoon is trying to say is, you know, the more gas we use, the higher the, higher the price is going to be. And that's basically the, that's how simple supply and demand really is. Uh, here's some vocabulary words you're going to need to know for this, this lesson. Uh, supply. Is, can you, in this context, uh, I'm assuming, you know, we've never gone over this, but... Do you have any idea what supply would be in this bin? Sure, yeah. The, basically, the amount of goods um, that, in this case, American buyers would consume. Right. Uh, the definition is the quantity of goods and services offered for sale at any given price. Uh, demand. Michael? Uh, how much they want of that product. Right. Like, the quantity demanded. Uh, definition, the amount of a particular economic good or service that a consumer or group of consumers will want to purchase at a given price. Uh, equilibrium. Does anybody like? Uh, when those two supply and demand are right. equal to one another? Yeah, they intersect. And Equilibrium is basically a stable situation in which forces cancel one another out and also can be viewed as a balance. Equality of distribution. And we're going to come back to that in a little bit. Uh, scarcity. Ben? Just when there is... A shortage of supply. Right. Very good. An inadequate, inadequate supply of something. And surplus? When you've got more than enough. Right. An amount or quantity in excess of what is needed. So basically, what is supply and demand? Supply and demand is an economic model based on price, utility, and quantity in a market. It predicts that in a competitive market, price will func function to equalize the quantity demanded by consumers and the quantity supplied by producers, resulting in an economic equilibrium of price and quantity. And here's like a short YouTube video I hope we can watch. It sums up pretty well, I think. I'm sorry, it's not. The volume's not really good, but... Okay, so that's basically what we just went over. So here is the demand curve. And so A, B, and C are points on the demand curve. Each point on the curve reflects a direct correlation between quantity demanded, which is Q, and price, which is P. So at point A, the quantity demanded will be Q1, and the price will be P1. As you can see, P1 and Q1. And the demand relationship curve illustrates the negative relationship between price and quantity demanded. The higher the price of a good, the lower the quantity demanded. And the lower the price, the, the, good, the more that good will be in demand. So basically, what I want to go over with you guys is how to draw a supply and demand graph. Or graph. So first of all, we, we need to point out that price is always going to be up here. And quantity is, the quantity demand is always going to be on the bottom. 
So one easy way to remember this is P comes before Q in the alphabet. So price and then quantity. And another thing you're always going to want to note when you're looking at a supply and demand graph is uh, the, the curve is always a downward slope when you're looking at demand, it goes down. And basically all this graph is saying is the higher the price is for something, the less money that they will have. And like, okay, what I'm trying to say is for P1, the price is extremely high and the quantity demanded, not, not very much. And then over here, you know, it's not too expensive, but it's not extremely cheap. It's in the middle, and for, for something that's relatively cheap, there's going to be a lot of demand for it. And that's really all, all this graph, graph is saying. And so now we have supply. And A, B, and C are points on the supply curve. Each point on the curve reflects a direct correlation between quantity supplied and price. At point B, the quantity supplied will be Q2, and the price will be P2, and so on. So this is similar to the law of the demand because it's still showing the price and the quantity demanded, except you'll notice that supply is always going to be an upward slope, whereas demand was a downward slope. And basically what this, this graph is saying is um, it's different in the sense that the supply relationship shows an upward slope. This means that the higher the price, the higher I'm sorry, this means when the price is high, this, this means that companies that are selling items are going to have you know, more of that, that item. So the only really example I could think for this one is uh, currently working at Skyline. One of our uh, biggest items is, uh, one of our most expensive items is chili dip. Well, we don't sell a lot of chili dip. We always have cream cheese in the back. So. That was the, the only really example I could think of. Uh, so when, when, a, when, when prices are high, companies like to have that product ready at hand because it increases revenue. So you know they might not sell a whole bunch of it, but when they are selling it, they're making profit. Um, what's next? Equilibrium, okay. Uh, as you can see on the chart, equilibrium occurs at the intersection of the demand and supply curve, which indicates no allocative inefficiency. At this point, the price of the goods will be P and the comma will be Q. These figures are referred to as equilibrium price and quantity. So when supply and demand are equal, basically when these two intersect, uh, the economy is said to be in equilibrium. At this point, the allocation of goods is at its most efficient because the amount of goods being supplied is exactly the same as the amount of goods being demanded. Thus, every everyone everyone meaning individuals, firms, countries, is satisfied with the current economic condition. So do economies work like this? It's equilibrium, yeah, Michael's shaking his head no. It's, it's rare that the economy is going to be at an equilibrium. Um, so since, since we've gone over this, uh, let's go back to oil. Do you think, well, it's, a, it's a limited resource that we have, um, do you think, or are we going to run out of it is what I'm going to ask. It's kind of like a trick question. Yeah. Like my, ben, do you think we are? I think we're definitely going to run cool. out of oil. I think eventually we will, yes, unless we find alternative energy sources. Well, basically, I've read one of the, one of our, I've done a lot of stuff in economics, and there's an there's a idea out there that since supply and demand, that it's impossible to run out of oil because as the more we move towards less oil, the higher the price is going to get, and that means less people are just going to buy it. So that's the, that's the theory. That, that's a theory. And then I want to talk about, uh, so let's go back to scarcity. Uh, if there's a scarcity of good, what do you guys think is going to happen? The, what, to price. It's going to, go, it's going to up. go up. And then surplus. There's a surplus of a good. It's going to go down. Yeah, the price is going to go down. and Demand's probably going to go up. So here's a review. Okay. So what's going to go over here? Price. Price, good. And then what's going to go on the bottom? P comes before Q. Q, quantity. Good. And then, so now we're going to go over the, the curves. Uh, the downward slope? Demand. 
demand. Okay, good. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm speeding through this. This one, the upward slope, supply. And then what's this point right here? Equilibrium. Equilibrium, good. So, okay, here's a, a fun, this, I, there's a supply and demand song. Uh, it's me singing. It's a cappella, uh, so I'm sorry about that. Uh, I can barely hear it, but the lyrics are, it's like to the tune of Farmer in the Dell. So all it talks about is, you know, if the, the, buy, the buyers demand more, the price will go up. If buyers demand less, the price will go down. And, you know, if, if sellers supply more, the price will go down. So that's really the end. Uh, I had a worksheet here, just how to draw your own supply and demand graph. Uh, I don't think we're going to have enough time, but here, here you go. You can just fill it out. That's the end.